Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. Alright, when we left off, we had uh, just brought Serana onto the team again. And I figured I might as well, since we're in the interest of disposing of vampires, go to Morthal if we can. Just really quickly, because I know of a certain problem they're having. Stone Hills. Is that a mine that I went to? I don't remember going through Stone Hills. Hmm. Anyway, we'll head over there. I offloaded some of my crap, the uh, jewelry that I made and whatnot, to Serene, who happens to become a merchant once she comes here. So, oh, give me a moment. Good. For some reason, my... Uh, pop filter wanted to be a little bit of a bitch. Anyway. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. That's right. Stone Hills. Now I remember. Uh, yeah, we just simply go this route. Oh, need these flowers. Always need these flowers. Come on, Serana. Let's go. Uh, in my haste, I accidentally removed my ring, so there's going to be that problem. But, you know, it is what it is. And eventually I'll regain my ability to attack. For some reason it's not letting me, uh, still not letting me swing or anything. That is annoying. And also the main reason we're heading to Morthal specifically is because it is another place to get a house. And I kind of want the second house done. <laughs> kind of want to get the second house all done and over with. Oops. I was trying to get in the quick way, and it did not want to let me do that. Anyway, there it is. There is Morthal. So we're heading in the right direction. And there's an enemy here. And if my game will eventually let me fucking swing. Come on, let me do something. There we go. Jesus. Holy hell. I hate it when it does that, and then it persists for like hours. Ooh, amethyst. Didn't expect to see that on a spider. Maybe he was bejeweled, or she. She can't tell gender on spiders, at least not that well, if you don't know what you're talking about. And I usually don't. Alright, we will head this direction as preordained by me. What the? Serana, why are you taking so long? You stuck in something? Okay. Yeah, she... The sound effect is her lightning attack. Her lightning spell attack. Mm. But yeah, that's the main reason that sound will be there. And it's a little annoying, but it's... It's what happens, you know. Morthal. Here we are. This watery city. Or town, more like. The hell? My, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm hearing sounds that are not normal. Hey, there's vampires. What are the odds of that? Not high. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well... I can get that out of the way. <laughs> Did not expect that, but Jesus. Steel arrow. Yeah. And there's the master vampire behind him. Songs of Skyrim revised. Oh, yeah. I want that. I want that very much. Well, that... Let's get indoors. That's not great. In a cave. Anyway. Well, it's not that bad out here. Yeah, that's not that's not great. He's not supposed to die like that. Uh. Welp. Oopsie doodle. Hey, look at that. It's a broken down house of some sort. What time is it now? Pretty much the AM. Yeah, this is 
This looks like it's been burned down or something. Just fell into disrepair. Let's ask the, uh... Let's ask the Jarl what's up with that house. We need to wipe them out before things get worse. You're not wrong. Is that fur coming out? Oh, of I can ears? ask him. Is there a story behind that burned down house? It's bad luck to talk about that place. Okay. Y'all's been looking for someone who ain't superstitious, though. Be looking for a fool, if you ask me. Okay. All right, then. Fair enough. I guess I'll get to uh, the talking, then. Cool beans. All right. No way, Serena. Damn, those orange eyes can really throw you off if you're not <laughs> if you're not ready for them. Okay, that's Alsfer. Alsfer, that's the name. So, Alsfer brought you okay. to Morthal and to me. What purpose this serves, we will no doubt see. Welcome. You just, you just rhymed there. I hear you want someone to look into that house fire. Rogar's house fire? Well, he lost his wife and daughter in the blaze. Mm. My people believe it to be cursed now. Who am I to gainsay them? What does Rogar say happened? Rogar blames his wife for spilling bear fat in the fire. Many folk think he set the fire himself. Why would he do that to his own family? Lust can make a man do the unthinkable. The ashes were They're still warm wrong, when but... he pledged himself to Alpha. So he pledged himself to another woman after that? So why haven't you arrested him? On rumor and gossip? No. But you, a stranger, might find the truth for us. Sift through the ashes that others are too fearful to touch. See what they tell you. Should you prove him guilty or innocent? I will reward you. Okay. Uh, is there some more thaw other than that? That which is unknown can create unease, even fear. It is to be expected. Mm -hmm. Some fear our new resident wizard. As they grow to know him, they will accept him. Time will prove me right. Okay. Krogar's fate is in your hands. Fair enough. Fair enough. Where'd you go? Serana! God damn it. Why do you do that? There we go. She'll, sometimes if you're taking too long in a conversation, she'll walk around and interact with items nearby. And sometimes it'll get annoying. By sometimes, I mean a lot of times. But people will keep her around anyway, because she's pretty. Oh, hey! Traveler. Uh, Where'd you come from? And down you go. I had a feeling that Traveler had something like vampirism. I don't wanna. I'm just dragging them away. Dragging them all the way over here. Cause fuck you guys. And... Just hooded black robes, huh? I want those. Those might look good on Serana, so I'll keep them. And I'll upgrade them. And I'll take those and upgrade them as well. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I just him sitting naked in the water is funny. Uh, pick those up. And I'll go investigate the house now. Sift through the ashes, as it were. Up. Uh, was... Was that child there before? It's a ghost kid. This... Never... Uh... This is freaky. Who are you? Help you. But father says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Um... Are you a stranger? No, I'm a friend. <laughs> Did you... Do you know what happened to your house? The smoke woke me up. I was hot and I was scared, so I hid. Then it got cold and dark. I'm not scared anymore. Oh, jeez. But I'm lonely. Will you play with me? If I do, will you tell me who set the fire? Okay, let's play hide and seek. You find me, and I'll tell you. 
We have to wait for nighttime, though. The other one is playing, too, and she can't come out until then. The other one? What do you mean? I can't tell you. She might hear me. She's so close. If you can find me first, I can tell you. It's technically after dark. It's 3.30. In the morning. Is this where... It's where the burial ground is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this is where it is, so what... What other one is... Hey! Well, that was quick. <laughs> Jeez. That was nothing. I'll take this so I can give it to Serana. That was... That was something. Child's Coffin. Oh, jeez. You found me! Laylot was trying to find me, too, but I'm glad you found me first. Laylot was told to burn Mommy and me, but she didn't want to. She wanted to play with me forever and ever. She kissed me on the neck, and I got so cold that the fire didn't even hurt. Laylot thought she could take me and keep me, but she can't. I'm all burned up. I'm tired. I'm going to sleep for a while now. Oh, jeez. Jesus fucking Christ. Sorry, just some personal things right now. Fucking Christ. Layalette. She's dead. She's so you dead. knew her? Layalette. Is dead. That is that your wife? Can you what can you tell me Layette. about it? I thought she left to join the Stormcloaks. Oh, my poor Laylet. Did you notice anything strange before she left? She began to spend a lot of time with Alva. Yet just a week before, she despised her. In fact, the night she disappeared, she was supposed to meet Alva. Um, Alva told me later Serana. that she it. never showed up. I never got to tell her goodbye. Serana! God damn it! I think they may have met after all. You think Alva? But that means... Ye gods, you think Alva is a vampire? It's a possibility we can't ignore. No, you're wrong. You must be wrong. Leolette may have met her fate out in the marsh. I refuse to believe Alva had anything to do with this. There is no way you can prove it to the Jarl. I hope Alva is not what you think. Well, you ver vehement against that, so I don't... I don't know what to think. If Alva is not, then she's serving someone who is. Okay, let's, yeah, let's pop this on. Investigate the house. Which, if I remember correctly, is right over there, yep. Yep. Probably be better if I went on the fucking catwalks. The wooden catwalks. That's a thing. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, I had to itch my leg. Oh, shit. Shite, 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 shite. Nope, come on. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Never should have come here. Where did you come from? So Alva is a vampire. Okay. Done and done. Alright then. Serana, did you really have to res? Really? God damn it. I'm trying to make sure I can get a good look at the face. She doesn't have the vampire the vampire look at all. Not at all. 
Yet she was using vampire spells like... <sighs> okay then. Let's just drop the poor fool. They're vampires. They were vampires. That was going to happen. <sighs> God damn it. Alright. There's a little basement down here. Looks like cellar. Alright. Well, we'll find the coffin here. Yep. There it fucking is. God damn it. Isn't there something else over there? Nightshade. Does it all count as stealing still? They're both dead. My life is dreary. Where is my prince to come and rescue me? Where is my bold Nord warrior to sweep me off my feet? I met a man today when picking night flowers. He is exciting and exotic. We kissed in the moonlight. It was so romantic. I'm going to see him again tonight. Now I understand the true colors of the night. Movarth has shown me the true black of night and the true red of blood. He has promised me a feast of blood if I do his bidding in Morthal. Jesus. This... God damn it. Oh, this is starting to look like my immortal. Oh, God. <laughs> Hrogar was easy to seduce. Movarth said I should find a protector first. Someone to watch over my coffin during the day. Hrogar is perfect. Laylette came to visit me tonight. She slaked my thirst. I've hidden her away to let her rise as my handmaiden. I've spread the rumor in town that she left to join the war. Fools. Movarth has confided his grand plan to me. I am to seduce the guardsmen one at a time and make them my slaves. Then he and the others from the coven can descend upon Morthal and take the entire town. We won't kill them. They will become cattle for our thirst. An endless supply of blood and an entire town to protect us from the cursed sun. Jeez, that is a master plan. More or less. Hrogar's family is becoming inconvenient. I've told Laylette to kill them all, but make it look like an accident. Hrogar must be seen as innocent if he's going to, if he's going to be my protector. That little fool, they let burned Hrogar's family alive. I asked for an accident, and she gave me a scandal. To make matters worse, she tried to turn his little girl Helgi. Except they let couldn't even get that right. She killed the child and left the body to burn. Something is wrong with Laylette. She keeps talking about Helgi. I think her mind has snapped. She seems to think that the child can still be brought back to be her companion. Jesus fucking... Ugh. There is a stranger in town looking into the fire. I'll have to be careful. Well, so much for that. You did not act carefully at all there. Oh, man. I've never actually had to face Alvi before. Or Alva. So that was a, a shock. Nonetheless. Yeah, normally she's... She doesn't look it at all. So I don't know if that was a bug and it just wasn't fixed with the updates or what. But good lord. Hey, that's an armored troll right there. The Dawn Guard has armored battle trolls that they use for when fighting vampires. Look at that. That is some awesome shit. Look at it. Fucking some Lord of the Rings shit right now. Oh, and he even made an isolate for the third eye. That is that is pretty cool. Alright, there we go. Now, we deal with all of this once and for all. This master vampire. I'm staying safe, I hope. Well, yeah, I'm just dragging him to the water to be carried away. Motherfucker, go away. Part of go away did you not understand? Cool. Oh, jeez. Alright, and yep, we'll call that good. We don't need to drag them. They'll be dragged away soon enough. And now we talk once again to the Jarl. Figure out how this all going to fit in. 
Whoa, Serana. Stop that. Jesus, Hubert Christ. Is Hrogar innocent or not? Alva set the fire. She's the murderer. Alva? Huh, didn't think she had it in her. Actually, she's a vampire. She planned to enslave the entire town. I assume you have proof? Can't go making accusations like that without proof. Oh, no, of course not. I have her journal. So it's true. The traitorous bitch. Morthal owes you a debt. Here. You were promised a reward for solving the crime, but I need oh, one more favor from you. Morthal is still in danger. The journal mentions Movarth, a master vampire I thought was destroyed a century ago. Okay. I'll gather together some able-bodied warriors to clean out Movarth's lair. They'll be waiting outside for you to lead them. Okay. All right, then. If you say so. If you say it's gonna work, it's gonna work, but... I, I doubt it. I'm really all they need. Alright, and I think we can end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.